Hello there, it's Miss B here again. Um, before I hand over to Mrs Macro, who's going to read us a story on the theme of friendship for today's assembly, I would like to say wow and a big thank you to the yellow bubble. I got back to my office yesterday after doing some jobs and there were lots and lots of paper boats left all over my desk. It's amazing to see some of you taking part and doing our collective worship activities. And not just that, there was a poster as well filled with hands and words about the theme of humility. So great work, Yellow Bubble. And we're going to hear from some of the Yellow Bubble children later on as they lead us in our prayers. But for now, I'm going to hand over to Mrs Macro and I hope you enjoy today's story. This is a story about friendship. It's called Stone Soup. One afternoon, a tired and hungry fox stopped at the farm gate. Can you spare a little food for a hungry traveller, he asked. Poor old fox. No, said the cow. I don't have any extra, said the donkey. Not me, said the goat. No, 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 said the four hens. Go away, said the bad-tempered old dog. Well, may I trouble you for a drop of water to make some soup, asked Fox. Those animals won't be very nice friends. Sheep, who was kinder than the others, brought some water in a bucket. Fox lit a fire, took a pot from his backpack, poured in the water and put it on the fire. Soon the water was bubbling away. Well done sheep, he was being a better friend. Carefully Fox chose a stone, sniffed it and dropped it in the water. That should make a fine pot of stone soup, he said. Full of curiosity, the animals gathered closer as Fox took a spoon from his bag, dipped it in the water and had a taste. Mmm, lovely, he said, but not quite right. I think it could do with a touch of salt and pepper. Do you have any? he asked the sheep. Now you can see all the animals having a look. Sheep fetched some salt and pepper and Fox put it in the pot. The puzzled animals moved closer as Fox took a sip, but still the soup wasn't quite right. Have you worked out what Fox is doing? Fox thought, perhaps a taste of turnip might do it. Cow went to her shed, chose a turnip and gave it to Fox, who chopped it up and put it in the pot. Fox took a long sniff. Can you do that? And a small sip. But still, the soup wasn't quite right. Let's cow with his turnip. Fox wondered if a hint of carrot would do the trick. Donkey knew just where to find one and trotted off to get it. It will be very helpful now. He came back with a large carrot, which was also chopped up and dropped into the pot. Now here's Donkey with his carrot, but the soup was still not right. Fox thought something was missing. Of course, he needed a cabbage. Goat hot trotted off to get one. By now, the animals were leaving, leaning over the steaming pot and their mouths were watering. But still, the soup wasn't quite right. There's the cabbage. Fox was sure a sprinkling of corn would be the finishing touch. The hens dashed away and rushed back with bowls of corn, which were tipped into the pot. There they are, look. Hens were there corn. The soup bubbled and boiled and the animals licked their lips. I wonder if you can remember what's been put in there so far. Tell your grown-ups. At last the stone soup was just right and they all shared it down to the very last delicious drop. Everyone agreed it was the best soup they'd ever tasted. Even old dog said and all from a stone? Amazing, they all agreed. Well, time to go, said Fox, putting on his backpack. All the animals wished him luck and told him to stop and make another pot of stone soup if he ever passed the farm again. Thank you, said the fox with a wily smile. I certainly will. And set off down the road. 
and that's the story of Stone Soup. Well done, Sheep, for being a nice friend. And what a clever fox to make sure he got all the yummy things he needed to make some yummy soup. I hope those animals are best friends next time. Thank you, Mrs. Macro. And now it's over to the Yellow Bubble to lead us in some prayers. If you want to make these prayers your own, you can say Amen at the end. Dear God, let us all have lots of courage. Amen. Dear God, thank you that we have friends. Please build a wall of fire of protection around us. Amen. Dear God, thank you for the nature that surrounds us. Thank you for our friends and family. Amen. Dear God, please help me to support and love my dad and brother. Also, love all my friends. Amen. Hope you have a good day and we will see you all again tomorrow. Keep smiling and working hard.